that's not just for camera. Like, yeah. that's just really how we are together. You know, it, it did take, you know, time. It took a while, it took a while <laughs> for us to get <laughs> here, but we're yeah. here and we continue to grow. Yeah. And, you know, and the, you know, the next sister that comes in as well, she'll get in, you know, she'll be able to bond, you know, with us and grow with us as well. But, like I said, a lot of people... You know, and that's and I and I think the most high that's nothing that we've ever experienced where it'd be like, Oh, y'all know y'all just doing that for the camera. Yes, and, fake. and I I'm not thank God that we never experienced that. Um, 'cause you know, that's genuinely legit like how we are and you know, you yeah. see her, you see me, you see her, you see me, you know. Yeah, and that's just together. you know, that's just how we are. I'm a pawn in this game of life. We call chess that word that manifests. Dear Lord, I try my best to break the chains of flesh. Man gone now. All right, so a little disclaimer. Um, for those of you who watched the video yesterday, that was a private conversation, but the parts that you heard was not private, if that makes sense. This was a council session that was given, of course, by the House of Judah uh, to a lovely family that are uh, newly polyweds, if that makes sense. Um, so I didn't allow the private things to get online and definitely much love and shout out to the family as well. Um, but I did let them know, you know, is it okay if we go live? Uh, they gave the permission. Um, so um, I recorded some things that I wanted you all to hear. Uh, this wasn't a regular video. This was just a council session. So you can kind of get the feel and the gist of how councils typically go. Uh, for those of you all who will book us in the future, uh, Lois will. Um, so, yeah. It wasn't a regular video, um, although I answered maybe one or two questions. I didn't want the attention to go to you all as the viewers, but the attention to the people who booked us. But they were, um, I guess you could say, nice enough to let us record some of the session. Um, but anyway, so I'll go ahead and uh, run the clip back. And remember, it wasn't a regular video. So if you want to book us for a council session, great. That's all. It's all good. It's all good. Um, but, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and run the clip back and let's go ahead and get some understanding. Shalom. To do a questionnaire. Y'all yeah, remember we that? Do a questionnaire. We did a questionnaire. Um, and we took like, we did like questions, like guest questions, who is who and, um, who and also like, what do you like most about this sister and what do you feel like this sister needs to improve on and what is your biggest aspiration of this sister or that sister? So, I mean, we, we, been, um, yeah, we, yeah, we, we did a questionnaire, um, you know, just basically getting to know your sister on a deeper level, getting to know your sister, um, just, you know, and the really biggest thing about bonding you guys will go through is talking. Yeah. Like just, just sitting down and, and, and talking. Like we talk. All the time, like <laughs> oh Lord, we talk all the time. But yeah, we um we talk all the time. We you know, like they said, we try to bond as much as we can, and you know, get truly get to know one another. You know, because we all had you know. Lives. Yeah, everyone had lives before we came together, and you have to really get to know someone. You know, you you have children involved. Yeah. Um, getting to know the children and bonding with the children and watching the children bond with one another. Um, that'll make you know that'll push you a little bit more to you know get to know the sisters who you know your husband is dealing with. So. Um, you know, we were all, like you said, we're always together. And one thing that we promote so long, so long. Uh, a lot is unity, you know. So whoever is coming in the household next or whatever, they have to have in their mindset, you know, uh, family, unity, 
um, because we do everything together. We do everything together with the children. We do everything together with uh, our husband. So there's no selfishness and there's no, you know, this person wanting to do this thing on their own and, you know, not wanting to be involved. That shows us what kind of person they truly are. Okay. You know, they're not really here for the unity, for the family. Um, so that's I, one of the... That's I one of the um jealousy okay so we usually say you know we, oh we oh okay overcoming jealousy reading the scriptures yes. go ahead reading the scriptures and knowing that you know a jealous woman will not inherit the kingdom of god and there's nothing to be jealous about um we all are different on you know we're we're different but we're the same you know, so I shalom, shouldn't be sitting shalom. here jealous over what my sister has. Shalom, you know, shalom. maybe she could cook better than I do. I can't sit here and be jealous of her because she knows how to cook. How about I go be up under her wing you and, you know, head. she showed me how to cook or I said, you know, try, build. there we go. We're building that bond and building that relationship, you know, so I can take some, some pointers on how to we cook. Got, uh, or if, you know, if I'm not I mean, professional uh, videos much, coming soon. You know, lovey dovey. You know, I, I see how my sister is and I take notes, you know. So, you know, there's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. That's so if you're, if this is my sister, I'm just in my office. If that's truly my sister, I should not be jealous over her, you know. Professional and photo is, shoots, is of the flesh. professional, we're not trying to walk you name after it. The flesh. We're trying to walk Come after the spirit. So, renewing your mind and renewing your spirit. Is how you how you overcome jealousy, you know, because it's, it's in the mind, mm -hmm. you know. That's Satan always there trying to exactly. play tricks on you people. and and just try to you know <laughs> any way possible. You have to rebuke him, rebuke him, rebuke him, okay. and stay uh, steadfast on being in the fruits of the spirit. And you also have to realize that if you are truly Bible believer, if you're a truly follower of Christ. And you're keeping these law, statutes, and commandments like what we're commanded to do. Mm -hmm. Jealousy wouldn't even be in your mindset, you mm -hmm. know. And that's just that's just real talk because to rock twenty six definitely tell us a jealous woman is not making it into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But it also even even if you going a step further above that, a woman a woman any woman should be able to look in the mirror and be like, I know I'm beautiful. I know I bring this this and this to the table. What do I have to be jealous over? You know, and, and you have to also realize a, a, a virtuous woman is a double grace to a man. So if I'm mm. if I'm a, if I'm virtuous and then my sister virtuous, that's four times. Right. So my husband's gonna live four, four times longer. So you have to realize and coming together. Why, why, why am I looking at myself? Why am I looking at my sister? Is like man, you know. Why should I look at her as her competition? She's not my competition. She's my equal. So it, it, every woman should be looking at their sister like that. We and then and I hate that that's the Western civilization mindset is to be jealous over another woman and looking at a woman as competition yeah. that she might have something better or more than than what you have. But I mean, you you're equally as as good as that woman. Yeah. So if you and then also you should have your husband's mindset. You should be also thinking after your husband. Yeah, that's so go with it. oh, go ahead. If as long, I mean, as far as, you know, being in a marriage, regardless to, you know, Polly and I, as long as you're striving for your husband mindset, that's all that really matters. Um, because you're supposed to be striving to be, you know, where he is. You're supposed to be striving to think the way that he does. And if he is Polly by heart, you know, you know he's going to be unhappy regardless if he's not Polly. So... Why would you want your husband to be unhappy? You should want him to be happy. You know, that's literally our job, our purpose, to make sure that he is taken care of. So and it kind of reminds me, if y'all don't mind, um, uh, you remember the, 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 the status I met yesterday? Uh, that was a brother, even though it was a joke. At first, I didn't know if it was a joke, but he had made the comment. Of, uh, what did he say? Tell me she about. told me about it. Yeah, though. No. Go, it was uh, basically about um, damn, what was it was basically along the lines of uh, women be afraid if I'm getting a woman's if I want to talk to another woman while my wives are around, and um, I forgot what I said in the quote. Um, dang, cause I'm live now, but it was basically along the lines of me getting uh, a woman's uh, number, 
And um and based on one line about how we feel about it. Yeah. Huh. What do your wives think? What are your wives thinking about it? And then he's like, Well, you can ask my wife, Well, no, nah, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, because some, sometimes women will do that. Like, well, 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 what do your wives feel about, you know, you talking with me or, or getting my number, you know, or, or, or wanting to talk to me, you know, and you want to ask them? <laughs> then they'll, no, no, it's, 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 it's that, okay. <laughs> that's cool. No, no, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Well, all right, then. Don't ask me then because you should be asking me how I feel. I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> You should be asking me that, <laughs> you know, so, but that just go to show you just the mindset of America, you know, how we've gone. It's like, we have to secretly get approval from our wives. That's, that's, wow. That, that, that just amazes me, you know, but, um, but yeah. Like, how about you deal with learning to be comfortable being affectionate? Uh, uh, who was the question to? Who's the question to? Just, huh? Go ahead, ask it again. Was? I said, I, how did you, how did you deal with learning to be comfortable being affectionate around everybody else? You talking about me? Oh. Yeah. Oh man, it's simple. <laughs> I went to the store and got this uh drink. It's called I don't give a fuck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So once I got that, okay. Are you asking so that's the question? Us, how did we uh, well, become comfortable? Like it's one thing to be like, all right. So I come in the house, right? Mm -hmm. And once upon a time, it was just me and Juby, right? So I'm lovey dovey on Juby. Like, that's yeah. what we used to. <laughs> and then Bertha comes in the picture. Yeah. And now, like, how did was that awkward? Was it not awkward? <sighs> Was it awkward for us or awkward for our Lord? For, for us. us. For us. How how oh, was it getting everybody. used to? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I guess okay, I go everybody. first. Uh, okay. Me, um, I bet, I mean, they knew I was poly, so at that point, I, I, don't, I just didn't give a shit. Yeah, no, he he's care. just affectionate. He's yeah. just going to do what well, he want to do, you know, at that moment. So, but for myself, they <laughs> <laughs> <I> always laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't, you know, you see. I know you heard me say it on the videos. Oh, you know, I wasn't right. for this. I wasn't for Polly in, in, at the time. <laughs> so that's why. That's why I say that you have to renew your mind and your spirit. So I had to renew my mind and my spirit, and 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 rebuke those you know negative thoughts when I see him, um, you know, giving somebody else a kiss or a hug or <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> But, but at that time, hey, you know, make the <laughs> at that time, I, you know, like I said, I had to just renew my mind, my spirit. Yeah, I know and, I'm crazy. And, and, and meditate over the scriptures because polygyny wasn't sin. Professional equipment. You know, so that's how I accepted, you know, that's his wife and that's his wife. And if he's going to be affectionate with me and be, you know, my husband and, you know, do his, does his husband thing. Yeah, I can hear you know, everything. It's a council session. They got to book us. With her and learn. her because that's his wife. Then, because I, I wasn't the first, oh, no, so back. I already YouTube. knew that there were other people, and I knew that he would be affectionate with other people. So I was okay with the idea of it. When you first see it, though, it does it is awkward. Yeah, like those first incidents, it's awkward. It's like, okay, well, let me not look. <laughs> Why they get in or let me not do this. But as you <laughs> like as you're gaining the relationship, you know, with him, you're also gaining the relationship with your sisters. So it got to the point like after so long, like I'll see them kissing and I'll take a picture for them. Yeah. And put it in the house group like here, this was y'all. Or I've seen Judy holding Jew and them like holding hands and I would take a picture like there y'all go. That's a snap it. Y'all couldn't get that, but I got it for you. Taking pictures like so, she the police. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you just adjust to it along the way. So for me, <laughs> I guess it wasn't in my. It, it never was in my mental rolodex. She until didn't we care moved, until we moved in the same house. Yeah. Um, you know, because when y'all in separate houses, I mean, out of sight, out of mind, right? Um, but when we moved in together, it honestly did.
didn't affect me like I thought it would. Like, I was like, okay, let me embrace myself, you know, he finna, but it didn't affect me. I mean, we would be in public and he would kiss us all in a row. Yeah, he uh, does that on purpose. He does that on purpose to get a reaction purpose. out of the public. Because it'd be yeah. so funny, man. Like, so, hey, man, you got to do it. I'm telling you. Hey, look, you got to go to the, sto you, you got to go to a restaurant, right? See, I'm petty. Go to a restaurant, kiss your wife in front of them, and then turn around and ask the woman for her number. See how she reacts. Man, she, she gonna look like she spilled her coffee. Man, I'm telling you, it's so funny. So, he, you know, he does it for the reaction out of the public. I remember one day, um, we was, you know, contemplating on a cashier at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, um, I'm finna talk to her and just be like, what did my husband say to you? To my man? Yeah, so... It was real funny, but I enjoy it. I I play along with him. I I be amping him up. You know, we amp him up. Try to talk to you. Yeah, we we amp him up. But it'd be it, so funny. It wasn't as awkward as I thought. And just like my sister, I actually got pictures of them kissing. I got pictures of her, pictures of her kissing him, and my phone too. And it's it's like no 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 jelly. It's just yeah, it's beautiful. Just it's love. So it's like. Yeah. <laughs> now look, now, now we actually got a question on the live. Somebody said, um, because I'm reading the comments late. Um, what was the? It says, so do your wives have to get your approval to talk to other people? Just asking. So in other words, what do you so mean? I'm guessing she asking, do I have to? Get do you have to get? Or do we have? I'm to thinking get she approval? asking, do I have to get y'all approval? Well, if it's that question, then no. No. He does as he pleases, as he sees fit. Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. And he had the, uh, the cowboy hat on, too. Hell to the no, no, to the no, no. Hell to the no, no. Hell no to the no, no. <laughs> but the next question was, um, somebody else said, um. What about the other way around? The other way around what? What you mean? Like, do they have to get permission to talk to other people? other like other families yeah oh yes sir we do yes sir we do everything has to go through our lord if he doesn't see fit for you guys to get counseled then we don't talk to you yeah. that's why nobody has access to us nobody so for us to sit and talk to somebody it goes. what up sis it what up best friend yeah it goes through our lord y'all have friends outside of each other Yes, we can. Yeah. yeah we have a few um not that many yeah i, I mean a lot of them i cut off because I mean, think about it. You're in the truth. You're serving a guy. Your carnal friends still want to be carnal. Yeah. What what relationship do you really have with shalom, them? Shalom, everybody. Yeah. Oh, shalom, you know, but I, I personally have a friend that I've been friends with for 30 years. Um, and then a friend I've been friends with for almost 15 years. Um, we're still not as close, of course, but we still communicate. But, I mean, for real, for real, think about it. Who can you talk to? Yeah. That's gonna understand you, yeah. understand your situation better than your sister wife. Right. There is no one. That's true. I Nobody. Think where I struggle is, um, I don't know, and I think I asked this question actually on the, the comments. I don't know what the boundary line should be. So when I have a friendship, I'm typically like all in, right? And I'm like, well, also wasn't sister. her to ask the question like what's yeah. your conversation like what yeah. you talk about yeah. okay so yeah what, we, we, what, actually what's say, off limits? we actually said we actually said talked about that yeah, for a we, while we had like a whole <laughs> conversation about it because it was like well there are certain topics and subjects that we don't <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. i'm Before, laughing i thought of that I too <laughs> the, you know i'm gonna dress that know, shit later uh, too much information, you know. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, we really always talk about everything. We really do kind of have conversations about everything. Don't catch us on one of our days where we go like um, down down memory lane. Yeah, because we definitely do that. We we're just about our past. Out. <laughs> so I mean, but 
because we we, we did have a past, but you know, before we met yeah. each other, before we came into the truth, completely and, different. Um, even you know what? <laughs> what even was even funny that we will will bring up is actually when we first met, when we first came, you know, came yeah, around each other. Still, we still laugh about, about it now. You know, it was horrible. It, yeah, it was like it was. I, I mean, first impressions <laughs> and first like the first time we met and we was around each other. Yeah, we had very bad experiences. <laughs> Um, we did not think really we don't like each other. Yeah, and you know what? And just real quick too. See, I'm glad y'all saying this too because some people who be on the outside looking in, they just think y'all like they see how y'all are now, and and they they see the they see what what I built. They don't see what the, what took the yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, different. So Ooh, you get I'm, some people they'll be they'll be I'm living off, different. Look, they, they'll be living off the life of. Oh, I want that, but yeah. yo, I straight built this, so it's like, yo, what yeah. you see now? It took, it took some, yeah, it took some molding clay, yeah. and, it, and but we can, but the beauty, the beauty of it is, we can sit and laugh about it today. Yeah, yeah. we we could, we can definitely sit and laugh about it today. But <laughs> we did, we had a whole conversation about yeah. that one question. Like it lasted a while because. It made us think like we don't we have don't have these type of conversations. Yeah, some type sometimes. of conversations we just don't have. Like yeah. maybe we should start having, you know, certain kind of conversations. Some of these conversations. Some. Yes. <laughs> some of them. <laughs> Cause you gotta think about it. I mean, you have to also be cause you're renewing your mind and your spirit. So you're not gonna talk about certain things you talked about before you, you know, became the woman yeah. you are today. You know what I'm saying? So we don't have those conversations. You know, um, but there's nothing off limit. And what I mean by. I'm sorry, sir? Yeah. No, you were, it sounded like you were alluding to intimate details. Yes, yeah, yeah, sir. But there's Notice nothing that's off limit. So if my sister had really has to be concerned about I'm something. I, I'm not going to shoot her down. Like, nah, I don't, that's uncomfortable. No, nah, come talk to me, sis. What's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm, so we make ourselves available and open to our sisters if they need to go into a deep, deep, in-depth conversation about something. Kind, but we also keep a a, a level of discretion. Yeah. About kind. what we individually do with our husbands. I mean, we all know that we're all grown and we all have our relationships. Yeah. And it sometimes it can come off as if like you're rubbing something in somebody's face right even if you are not so we don't really dabble in those oh. yeah, that conversation we never have those yeah. type of conversations ever we know we have our personal our own relationships girl you sound like a christian i'm my own relationship yeah, with we god have our own relationship <laughs> in our room because we, we know remains in our room we know at the end of the day we're monogamous you know, our husband is the one polygyn, it's not us. Right. We're monogamous at the end of the day. So, what monogamy women do with your husband? Mm -hmm. You're, we're all married. Yeah, we all married. We're grown. We're married. We leave that alone. Mm -hmm. We leave that alone. <laughs> That's just a conversation we just don't have. What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? Ashley Judah. You got to talk to the camera. You got to tell What's your name? name? I'm a pawn in this game of life. We call chess that word that manifests. Dear Lord, I try my best to break the chains of flesh. 